Hi guys, welcome back. Welcome to the FSX404 channel. Today we're going to do an approach into Alberto Carnevale Airport in Merida, Venezuela. The Alberto Carnevale Airport is a tough airport because it's not only an airport with a short runway. The runway is only about 5,400 feet, but the airport is located in between mountains at an altitude of 5,000 feet. The airplanes can only land on runway 6 and they can only take off on runway 24. So there's only one approach allowed at Merida. It is a visual approach through the so-called corridor or a VFR corridor. The reason it's called the corridor is because it's literally a natural corridor created by the mountains on either side. So we're flying right in between the mountains. Because this approach is so dangerous, it can only be done during daytime and in good visual conditions. We have to be able to see the mountains on either side and the mountains way ahead of us. If we take a look at a chart for Merida, we can see the mountains on either side and the mountains come together and create a boxed canyon. Now when it comes to mountain flying, a boxed canyon is one of the biggest dangers you can encounter. We never want to find ourselves in a boxed canyon. Now this approach has the weather minimums and the weather minimums for this approach are 5 miles visibility and a 1500 foot ceiling. Now a 1500 foot ceiling at Merida uh, means the clouds can be as low as 6500 feet MSL above sea level. Now, maybe we can get away with 5 mile visibility in a canyon uh, and that's pushing it, that's really pushing it. But clouds as low as 6500 feet at Merida are a suicide. Now, how do we actually fly this approach? This approach begins at the Juan Pablo Perez Alfonso Airport or SVVG. We'll be at SVVG at an altitude of 19,500 feet. We'll depart SVVG at a heading of around 165 and at the same time we'll start a 1500 to 2000 foot per minute descent. At this point we are visually flying to the entrance of the VFR corridor. Once we enter the corridor we'll follow the river all the way to Merida Airport. Now we can load up the VFR approach into our FMC on the plane if our uh, FMC has it and that depends on which plane you have and I can't help you with that, you either have it or you don't. But the approach in the FMC will only give us two points. The first point is point FA06 which is about 8 miles west of the airport and the second point is the airport itself. Uh, the only use we have for point FA06 is that we know that uh, at a point FA06 we need to be at 7,400 feet. So by the time we reach point FA06, we need to be at 7,400 feet. A 1,500 to 2,000 foot per minute descent started at SVVG will put us at about 7,400 feet at point FA06, give or take. Remember, this is a visual approach, and visual approaches are not as exact as instrument approaches. As long as we're safe, we're okay. In this case, follow the river and don't hit the mountains. The last part of this approach, uh, which is from point FA06 to the landing, is our final approach. At point FA06, we should start to see the runway and the papillites. And also from point FA06 to the landing, our descent should be at about 700 to 900 feet per minute. And that should keep us on the glide slope. Another thing to remember about this final approach is that as we're descending, the ground is actually sloping up. So our altitude callouts are not going to be accurate. We need to follow those papillates. And the last thing to remember about this approach is that we can only land on runway 6, so occasionally we'll have to land with a tailwind. Tailwind will increase our landing distance, so we have to be aware of our airplane's capabilities and how long it's going to take our airplane to slow down and stop if we have that tailwind. For this approach, we're going to use the iFly Boeing 737-700. And because most of this approach, until the very last part, is pretty easy and pretty long, we'll pick up this approach just before point FA06 and do the last part of the approach, right when this approach starts to get interesting. So, let's get in the plane and let's fly this last part of the approach. Alright guys, we're inside the airplane, we're landing at Alberto Carnevale Airport. We are at about a point FA06, which is about 8 miles from the airport, 7,500 feet and descending. 
uh, we are lined up for runway 06 so the airplanes can only land on runway 06 here but the visibility is good we have a clear view of the valley we have a clear view of the city and pretty soon we're going to see the runway so we are go for landing we do have a little bit of tailwind you now because i set it up that way just make it a little bit more interesting what the tailwind is going to do it is going to increase our landing run uh, the runway length is only about 5400 feet now for a Boeing 737-700 at 5,000 feet for this weight, which is all almost the top maximum landing weight, the landing run is about 44, 4,500 feet. If we add 20% for the tailwind that we have, our landing distance is going to be about 5,400 feet. So we are just about maxed out with the airplane that we have under the conditions that we're landing. I also like to keep it realistic in the cockpit. The auto braking is set on two, it's not on maximum. Just because if we set it to any more than two, the airplane will brake pretty fast and it's very unrealistic. Real airplanes never brake that fast. Another thing to remember is that as we're approaching this airport, the terrain is rising. We're descending and the terrain is rising. So the altitude callouts are going to be useless to us in this case. 2500. Right up until we get right over the runway. Uh, so we have to do this visually, we have to use those papi lights and we have to stay disciplined, we really have to stay disciplined. Another thing that's going to happen at this airport, because we do have a little bit of tailwind and the airport is at 5,000 feet of altitude, uh, our ground speed is going to be a lot faster as we're coming over the runway. Now there is something called ground effect, it's a little cushion of air that affects the airplane as it's landing right over the runway. Ground effect takes into account the ground speed. Because we are coming in a little bit faster ground speed, that Caution ground effect, terrain. that little cushion, it's going to keep us floating a little bit longer. Caution so we have terrain, to take that into terrain. account and we have to stay disciplined during our flare. Terrain, terrain. Hold up. Terrain, terrain. Wind shear, wind shear, wind shear. Terrain, terrain. 400. Approaching minimums. Terrain, minimums. Terrain. 100. Terrain, terrain. 40. 30. 20. 10. There's that ground effect. Touchdown. Reverse thrusters. Alright, let's take a look outside. Anyway guys, here's a landing from the outside. Enjoy it, it was a rush, and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Wind shear, wind shear, wind shear. 400, 300. Approaching minimums, minimums. 100, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10.